Hey what's up y'all, I'm back with another video. Recently, I had one of my subordinates ask the r slash wow economy subreddit for its worst gold farms and figured that I would see how bad they are for myself. So in this video, I'm going to be trying reddit's worst gold farms. From farming random mobs outside of an irrelevant dungeon to farming items that were added over 6,000 days ago, these farms sucked, so I'd appreciate it if you left a like on the video as it keeps me motivated to endure the torturous hours of gold farming that my captors force me to do for them. Anyways, let's get right into the video. The first farm that the subreddit gave me was farming random mobs outside of the Halls of Valor for BOEs. Now, I played a lot of World of Warcraft during Legion. Like, a lot. And I can guarantee you that nobody that I knew, at least, was farming these mobs, and for good reason. After farming these mobs for around 30 minutes, I came up with about 13,000 gold in looted item value off of random greens, as well as 800 raw gold, leading to a total of around 14,000 gold per hour, which is easily one of the worst gold per hour values that I've ever seen while gold farming. I mean, farming crabs on Darkshore is more worth your time at this rate, which I do have a video on, by the way. The only reason I can see anyone recommending this farm for someone is probably just that one guildie that you want killed got an insanely lucky drop off a mob while questing and just recommends it to anyone looking for gold farming advice. Would definitely not recommend farming gold here. The next farm that the sub gave me was any piece of content regurgitated by a certain World of Warcraft YouTuber. Now, while I respect this dude's hustle, I can agree that the Mog Slop content is definitely worth some scrutiny. Actually, I'm just kidding. Transmog will always sell. You're literally one more list from selling that high ticket item, bro. Just keep listing. The moment you stop listing, someone else's list will sell, and you're gonna have to wait just as long for that big sale. So just keep listing. Now, the next farm is interesting because, much like the first one, it's one I've never thought to do personally, but figured I'd give it a try, and it's farming dragon scales in Netherstorm. After doing some research, I figured that the best place to farm the scales is here in Shadowmoon Valley. Now, if you've progressed through the Nether Drake questline here, unfortunately you will not be able to kill these mobs since they will have been liberated. Fortunately, however, there are alternative farming locations that are available. I'm not going to say where though, you can figure that out for yourself because I really don't feel like downloading any more JPEGs. Since nether dragon scales aren't an item that's particularly sought after, therefore not particularly farmed, the price of them is actually pretty decent at around 28 gold on US realms. That being said, farming for 30 minutes yielded me 105 scales for a total value of around 3000 gold or 6000 gold per hour. I was also able to loot several green items for an additional 3,000 gold, meaning that you're looking to make roughly 8 to 10,000 gold per hour while farming this, which in my opinion is pretty poor. Not really worth doing in my opinion since it's pretty obscure and out of the way and you aren't seeking to gain much doing this. The final farm that I wanted to cover that the sub mentioned was farming Apexis shards in Blaze Edge Mountains for the Apexis weapons. Now, much like the other two farms that I talked about, I had never heard of anyone doing this ever, and since I had no idea what I was getting into, I knew that I had to try it for myself. After farming for roughly a little under an hour, I had acquired around 1.3 million gold in looted item value, with the most notable item being the Crystal Infused Shiv, which is currently listing for just short of 800,000 gold across all US realms. Now. Like I have to say in a lot of my videos nowadays, transmog will be transmog, so if you aren't willing to list, don't expect to make a sale, cause this is a real man's gold farm, so suck it up. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. This video sucked to make low key, but sometimes we have to learn to take one for the team for science. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a like anyways, kinda like a reverse psychology type of means if you're throwing what I'm catching. <laughs> you seem chill. Do you have kick by any chance? Make sure to subscribe cause it would be dope. And as always, peace.